Hello and welcome to this course on Terraform Basics. My name is Sajesh and this video we will see how to write modules. So modules are intended for code reusability. So it's uh, almost same as writing the Terraform configuration file. But only thing is there is some slight modification we need to make on the code. So let's uh, uh, see that here. So first uh, in this directory, so I have created a directory called modules okay and inside that so i have one more directory pm okay so this is the directory where i define my uh, modules so modules are same as terraform config file but only the difference is so we have removed the provider section so only the resource section is available and we are going to deploy the resource aws instance and the remaining things are self-explanatory like ami instance type and tag so these properties so i have uh, i'm using variables like ami instance type and vm name so in the same directory i have another file called variable tf and where i am defining those variables like ami vm name and instance type and tag, so which are of type string okay so that's about my modules directory so we need to make a note of this directory so this is the place where i kept all my module files so the module files are similar to the terraform config file but only difference is there is no provider section so the provider section we will be defining in our main script from where we are calling this module okay so you can have variables so you can define that variable so maybe we can have a default values also so next we will go back to the main uh, directory okay so where i have uh, created another directory dev and here i have my main script okay so the first part is the provider section where we are defining our aws keys and region okay so this is the standard uh, format where we are defining our provider section and next i'm calling a section module and some name for that vm module and here so i am writing the source so source is nothing but the location where i define my module files so we have this location under which we have our main and variable file and here you can see i'm passing uh, three uh, variable and its value so we will be using these three variables inside this uh, source location and uh, where we have we are using this variable so we are passing those values by assigning uh, this variable to some values so source is the location so where we have this file and again uh, this variables so we have defined into another file called variable.tf that is nothing but that provider properties so once that is done we can uh, do a terraform in it so we will be doing from this uh, dev directory so that is our main uh, script and uh, from here we are calling the module so first do a terraform in it to do the initialization so based on the provider we define it will download those files and keep those files under dot terraform directory so once it's a initialized so let's uh, validate using terraform validate so this do a syntax check and make sure like our code is perfect so we got a success message now we can just do terraform plan so that will show the execution plan so what are the resources it's going to deploy so all those details will be printed here so you can see one is going to add there is nothing to destroy here so let's uh, do a terraform apply so terraform apply will do the actual uh, deployment and uh, uh, and it will prompt you and once it's prompted go ahead and type yes to do the confirmation okay and uh, so we can uh, go to the aws console and uh, from here so looks like it's a bit slow here 
and uh, from here so we can go go to the ec2 console and uh, see our instance getting deployed so here you can see uh, it's a vm is uh, trying to create and uh, let's go to this instance section and uh, wait uh, just to refresh this page for some and wait here for some time so you can you will be able to see that vm is getting deployed so go back to here so you, it's saying like the de deployment has completed okay and uh, you can see here right so this is running and uh, my vm uh, 001 and uh, this is the virtual machine so once it's over so we can uh, do uh, destroy it using uh, terraform destroy command so terraform destroy command will uh, delete those resources so whatever the resources which is built as part of this deployment so terraform will be keeping i mean tracking all those things into a file called terraform state so you can see that in the current directory so this destroy it saying zero to add and zero to change and to one to destroy it. so it's going to destroy those resources so you can refresh here and uh, can see it's uh, getting uh, shutting down and uh, deleting so this will uh, take some time to completely terminate the instance so i hope you enjoyed this learning thank you for watching this video we will see in the next tutorial bye